Hi guys, it's Claire Aiken with the Fiddly Fig Plant Resource Center. And today I wanna to address a question that we get a lot and that is, is my fiddly fig dying? And so if you are asking this question, you probably have problems like, you know, brown spots or dropping leaves or lack of new growth or some kind of problem with your fiddly fig that is causing you anxiety and, and maybe even panic. And so I wanna tackle that question today, but really the question is basically a question of your plant raising philosophy because Fiddly figs are incredibly resilient. So even if your fiddly fig is dying in the conditions that it's in right now, it can probably still be saved. But it's kind of a question of, is it worth saving? And what are you getting from your relationship with your plant? Do you wanna throw it out and start over? When you're asking, you know, is your fiddly fig dying and should you start over and get a new one? You really wanna think about, you know, how much time you have, because it can take these plants a long time to turn around and to start growing again. So if you have a long-term view, then it's probably worth saving your plant. Also, how much money? You know, how much money did you spend on your plant? And do you wanna buy a new one and start over and start fresh? Um, and then how much space do you have? So I don't have a lot of space where I can have kind of ugly, unsightly plants. And so I usually err on the side of just getting rid of a plant that's not doing well because I don't have a place to put them all to recover. And then what's your philosophy? You know, do you feel really badly about throwing away a plant or do you feel okay about throwing it away and starting over? I have a really hard time throwing away plants. I know they're living things and it just makes me feel really guilty to throw them away and start over. So I have a system that I use where I put them out to pasture is what I call it. So I put them under my pergola outside and I have this whole section of plants that when I you know, have a plant that's dying in my house and I don't wanna look at an unsightly sick plant and I've kind of given up, I put it outside out to pasture and they will either sink or swim, they get plenty of light, I water them once a week, they will either recover or they won't. A lot of times the fiddly figs that I put out there do recover and they do great. And I have a whole section on my patio of fiddly figs that have come back from the dead. So you probably can revive your plant, even if it is dying. I've seen plants that go down to just one stalk and have no leaves that still come back from the dead. So I will link to our article on how to revive a dying fiddly fig. Well, let me just answer the question of, is your plant dying? So first of all, if your plant has a lot of brown spots on its leaves, this is an indication that it has root rot and it is probably dying. So root rot can kill your plant in a matter of days or weeks. And so you really wanna address the problem. And the problem is overwatering, lack of drainage, or not enough light. And so you wanna address those problems to cure your root rot and turn your plant around. We do have a root supplement that can really help your plant. So if you discover that you have brown spots and dropping leaves and you think you have root rot, go ahead and address the underlying conditions. So make sure your plant has good drainage, make sure you're not overwatering, make sure it's getting enough light. And then if you treat it with our root supplement product, it actually starts working within 24 hours to stop the infection in its track and help your plant to revive itself and to protect its root system. What I would say about the second problem we see a lot is dropping leaves is if your plant has already dropped more than 50% of its leaves, then probably yes, it has a big problem and it's dying. So if you don't do anything to correct the situation, your plant will be dead in a hurry. Brown spots or dropping leaves are definitely a big problem. You wanna correct the drainage issue, stop overwatering, and give it as much light as humanly possible. Try our root rot treatment on dropping leaves because it can help to save the leaves that are still on your plant um, and help you turn around that situation. The next thing we see a lot is uh, yellowing leaves. And this is actually one where I would say, you know, if your leaves are turning yellow, your fiddle leaf fig may not be dying. It may have a different problem. And so a lot of times we see yellowing leaves coming from too acidic of environment. And so you can use a soil meter to test the, the acidity of your soil. And we have one where we'll link it below. Um, and what you do is you put it into the soil on the acidity uh, reading, the pH reading. And if it is a Basically below a six, it means it's probably a little bit too acidic. And so what we see with fiddly figs growing in acidic soil, the first thing that we see is lack of new growth, kind of an unhappy plant, and um, that yellowing of leaves. That's one thing that can cause leaf yellowing. Another is lack of fertilizer. And so if your soil is a six or above, so you're not worried about acidity, think about whether or not you've fertilized your plant. And especially if it's been in the same pot for 
you know, a long time, maybe a year or two, it has probably depleted all of the nutrients in that pot and it really needs fertilizer. It's starving to death. And so one of the first signs of lack of fertilizer is those yellowing of the leaves and it's very easy to treat. We have a fiddle leaf fig plant food that you can use every single time you water to address that and get your leaves to that green and gorgeous uh, kind of look that you're going for. The next thing I wanna talk about is red spots. So especially when you see tiny red spots on the new growth of your fiddle leaf fig, don't worry, your plant is not dying. This is totally normal. These are called edema. We have a whole video on what it is, what it looks like, uh, but these are normal and your plant is gonna be okay as long as it's having new growth, that's a really, really good sign. If your plant is producing new leaves, that is a huge sign that it's not dying. I would say, you know, if you if you don't have dropping leaves, if you don't have brown spots, and if you have new growth, your plant's doing pretty well. But if you have some of these more concerning problems like root rot or dropping leaves, you wanna act in a hurry um, so that you can save your plant. And so if you wanna learn more about how to save a dying fiddle leaf fig, check out our links below and be sure to subscribe because I'll do a whole video on how to revive a dying fiddle leaf fig so that if you choose to really invest the time in turning your plant around, I'll give you all the tools to do so. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and please give us a thumbs up if you can and we'll see you next time.